Welcome back to the channel guys. Doing the rear brakes on your Ford Flex and you want to push that caliper piston back in? Keep watching. Now the front caliper is the easiest ones to push back. The real pain in the ass part comes with the rear caliper. And that is because this piston is a spring piston. So as it comes out, it um, gets locked as it comes out. To retract it, you have to rotate it. And there's a couple of tools that you can use. The cheapest one is gonna be this little cube I talked about in the beginning of the video. You just pick about which si whichever of these sides are gonna fit, which I believe is this side, are gonna fit this um, piston face. Where'd that side go? This side. So you put it right there. Then you get your ratchet with an extension preferably and you ratchet this back in place. Now the bitch part of this is, is as you're doing this in the wheel well with this caliper, however you're gonna be holding it, you have to push and rotate this at the same damn time. And that can be kind of hard. And this piece right here likes to slip out of these grooves. So if you're in a pinch and you really need this caliper, oh, we're going the wrong way. And you need this caliper or you need your brakes done, this tool may work, but from my experience, as you can see here, I don't like it. And if you're in the wheel well and you're trying to do this on the ground, it's gonna be very frustrating. And again, make sure you clean your, pull the boot back with a mechanics pick, clean around the piston. You can see some of the fluid come out that's still left in here. That's probably why you want to break your bleeder screw and let the fluid come out, the dirty fluid go out there rather than going back into your line. But there's a better tool. This is that MAD uh, docks kit that I was talking about. This is from Harbor Freight. And this essentially does what this does, but you don't have to push while you rotate. So you just get this kit and you pick whichever disc is going to fit, which I believe this was a disc six. Yes, disc six. You put this on here like this. And you align this up, because this is magnetic right here. And then you screw, then you just screw this out. So it's got some tension. Then this size right here is a size 22. So then you get to hold this and you just use this end right here where my left hand is and then you can hold this and then you can rotate this piston back much 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 easier now as you do this you're going to have to keep this tightened but this is so much easier to do especially when you're in the wheel well underneath the vehicle trying to do this but you see, I can put more torque on this. This does all the pushing. The brake fluid comes out. And that's it. There's no ratcheting feature here. So you kind of have to have like it all the way around. And as you can see, if you didn't have the bleeder valve open, all that fluid would go back into your line, which would then make your brake fluid in the main reservoir go up. So be careful of that. If you pull this out, this flu dirty fluid, as I said, goes out the bleeder valve. Your fluid in the main reservoir is gonna go low. So make sure, or it'll drop. So make sure it doesn't go too low. But as you can see, we have this pretty much there. Pretty much all the way retracted. Make sure when you're done, you have your pin, your slots in the, the piston uh, vertically so you can put the new pad in there. So they slide on the new pad. This procedure is the same for both the standard duty brake like we have here 
and the HD brakes that we have. Then when you're done, you just take your 22 and you loosen it. Pull the thing out and that's it. You have a caliper that's nicely retracted. And that's all there is to it. Just two simple tools, whichever one you want to use, it's up to you. I personally prefer the one that um, you can ratchet it in because working in here is kind of annoying and cramped and using a little cube really does suck. If you liked the video, hit like. If you disliked it, well, you know what to do. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time and have a great day.